So team keep it clean. Obviously something much different than the norm, but I had to to stop everything just to say thank you, Tom Grassi. Um I now when I wanted to originally do this video was probably about maybe 20, 30 minutes ago, right when I finished watching the 30 for 30 or his 30 for 30, him doing a, his video on his, his his stadium tour that he's been doing that he's in the middle of. I wanted to record this video right after I finished watching, but I couldn't, man. I couldn't, man, because I, I, I was watching that video just bawling, man, because it was uh, it was so special, man. It, it really, really was just the way that uh, he presented everything and just, I, it was a privilege to be able to be a part of that. Um, and and I, I just appreciated it so much, man. I appreciated it so, like literally from start to finish. I, I and and I had watched it with my wife and, and our son Carter. I had watched it while we was we were having dinner. So I bring my food to the table and stuff. Carter already got his food. My wife already got her food. I bring my food to the table. Sit down, press play, start watching it. I couldn't eat. I really I couldn't I could not eat, man, because I'm I'm just so locked into the video and just like. All the emotions is just going crazy, man, because it, it was just done so perfectly, man, and it was great. It, it, it was great. the The experience was great. It, just from jump, I, I was just I, I was so. I remember when he first announced his thirty for thirty. Um, that he's gonna be going to the thirty stadiums in thirty days. Uh, I remember when he first announced it. It was on the night of the draft, and I remember leading up to the announcement, he had announced that he had an announcement, a big announcement coming up, and I was like, okay, what's it going to be? And then, I think, either that day, no, the previous day, on Wednesday, he was like, oh, I'm going to be making the announcement tomorrow. I was like, okay. So, I'm sitting there checking my notifications and stuff, going through my subscriptions. I ain't seen nothing yet. Uh, but then I finally saw it, and I was like, oh, wow, that's... That's 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 big. That's crazy too. Thirty stadiums in thirty days. Like I told y'all before, just me making a trip up to Baltimore, like we do. We do it a lot, but even that for me, that could be tiring. But for thirty stadiums in thirty days, that that's a lot. But he's been doing it. He's been doing a phenomenal job. Um, and I did not think like even when I because I, I looked up the date for when he was gonna be in, in Baltimore. I obviously looked up the date too for when he was gonna be in Miami and Tampa and stuff too, and even Jacksonville. But I did not think that he was gonna have me be a part of it, and I, and I didn't expect it either. Um, but when he hit me up, I was just like, wow, like wow. And he's somebody that's uh, he he's been showing me that he's good people. Um, just online, not having met him in person yet, because I, I told y'all this before, when, um, when our channel had got demonetized, oh, that was, that crushed me like crazy, y'all know, man, that was like the worst, because there was just so much unknown in that whole situation, um, but when the channel got demonetized, um, we, I mean, we had 66,000 subscribers now, I mean, it wasn't that long ago. It was in March. So the subscriber difference wasn't that much. We might have been at maybe 64, 65,000 back then. I'm not sure. But um, basically, we're, we're a small channel. Small, small channel. But I hit up Tom. I don't hit him up on a regular anything. Oh, I didn't back then. I didn't hit him up on a regular anything like that. The last time I had hit him up prior to that was when we worked together. And that was maybe like... Two years ago when the Ravens played the Packers Because we worked together I was on his channel, he was on mine um, But I hit him up And I explained the situation to him And said, hey, I, I know it's random But I don't know if there's anything you could do Could you? I, but anything Like if you know who to reach out to Or anything like that So he had, he had talked to some people To try to get some information for me on, on exactly what I could do And I was just thinking like Man, this dude I mean, back then, maybe he was sitting there like, he, he was over 400,000 subscribers. Now me, I only got 60-some thousand, some super small channel, but I be busy like crazy. So I'm like imagining this dude with over 400,000 subscribers. So I, I know he's busy. I know he's crazy busy, but the fact that this dude still took the time out, and he, he told me like, okay, I'll look into it for you. So I'm like, all right, cool. But then he, he followed up on that and actually looked into it for me and reached out to some people too. And I was like, man, this dude, he ain't had to do that. 
He had to do that. And especially because I know that he's crazy busy, but he still did that. I was like, man, it just, uh, that, that, that was special, man. Um, that was really, really special to me. Uh, even when, before, when we had worked together, he had hit me up. He hit me up, though, and I, I didn't hit him up. I had seen his channel here and there, too, but he, he hit me up, and I was like, man, this dude, super big channel, hitting me up, this little tiny channel, like, man, Really? He's just good people, man. He good people. And then um, for this whole thing, the 30 for 30, uh, the fact that he was just willing to, to have me on for the the part about the Ravens, the, where he visited M&T Bank Stadium. It was just crazy, man. It was crazy. And then just for, for him to in, include me in, in literally everything that he did that day, uh, because it started early in the morning. Like y'all saw, it started early in the morning, the stadium tour. We had to be there by 8.30. Um, so, and, and he, like, even before, be, before I even booked the plane ticket, and I, and I booked it super last minute, but before I even booked the plane ticket, he was like, all right, yeah, we're going to be taking a stadium tour, and da 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 He was like, what's your name, so I can put you on the list, and I'm like, really? Like, something like, really, really doing all that? And he did, and, um, yeah, man, he, he just, he's great people, man, he, he, he's great people, um, and with the, the stadium tour with the Ravens, like, I already knew the Ravens, like, they, especially with, with the fan experience, because I was telling them about it, about that all throughout, uh, just chilling with them, like, the Ravens with their fan experience, it ain't nothing like it, man. It's really not. They, they do such a great job with the fan experience. Um, and the way that they showed him love, they, they really showed him a lot of love. Like to have, and he mentioned in the video, like it's it takes them two seconds to to type up Tom Grassi or welcome Tom Grassi and to put it up on their screen, but that's big, man. To the, like that's that's huge for them to do something like that. That's huge, man. That that goes a long way, man. And I remember when, when we first like walked into where they control all that stuff and saw that it was like whoa. And it, that was big for me. Then that ain't my name up there. <laughs> I don't think Raven would put my name up there. But that, that, I was like, what? Well, so I could imagine how he felt when he saw his name up on the screen at the Baltimore Ravens Stadium, M&T Bank Stadium. That was crazy, man. Um, so that was, and that's just them. They they just showed a lot of love to him, man. And I appreciated them doing that for him. That was great, man. Um, the tour guys, they were both. Amazing. They were super, super cool, super, super nice. Very, very knowledgeable about everything. Um, and you could tell even with that, because there's some places where you may have a tour guide and a tour guide may just be going through the motions or whatever. And maybe not even really know too much about whatever it is he or she is talking about. But the Ravens made sure like the people who they got directing these tours, they he, he knew what he was talking about. They knew what they were talking about, both of them, because it was two of them. Uh, so it, it was just really, really cool. Just to be able to, to go into the locker room and stuff and just to uh to to see the sweets and all that. I'm like, man, these sweets. And they told us the prices of them sweets. I was like, whoa. I ain't never gonna be able to afford one of these sweets, but it's nice being in here uh for this tour. Oh well, actually you never know, man. You never know. But anyway, um it was just a, a crazy experience, man. Then them taking us uh up the us being able to walk past where the players, where they come, like, well, y'all, for Ravens fans that follow the Ravens on Twitter, Instagram, and stuff like that, and Facebook, you know, like, before the game, before the games are starting, uh, how the players will be walking into the stadium with their regular clothes on, and we got to walk past that part, and I was like, oh, this is cool, man, because I, I, I was like, I, I had only seen it on TV, but to see it in person, it was like, whoa, it was crazy, man. Like, this is where they be walking with the headphones on and stuff and not even trying to look to the camera and whatever, but it was cool. And then with entering that locker room, we got to see Harbaugh's, uh, his his room, his office. Um, just, it was crazy. We got to see the whole locker room, uh, sat in Lamar Jackson in, in his locker and stuff. And it was just, and it was nice that the Ravens made him that customized jersey too. Again, small things for the team. It's nothing to them. It, they, they could do that in two seconds. But that's big. That's still big. It's a, it's a nice gesture by them because it's not something that they have to do. 
And even though it, again, takes them two seconds, they didn't have to do that. And they did that for him. So that, that was special. So, again, they showed him a lot of love, man. Um, that's why everything that he got going on, he deserves all of it, man. All of it and more. I know he's been raising money for St. Jude's, uh, for the Children's Hospital and stuff. And, uh, and all the links to all his stuff is down below in the description. I know y'all know who Tom Grassi is already, but if you don't know, yeah, now, now you know. You need to know. Um, cause he, again, he is good people, man. Good people. Great people, as a matter of fact. Um, and it's, 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 it's just been amazing. <laughs> it's been crazy good, man. It, it just... Uh, it was crazy. I, I had loved, like I always love going up to Baltimore. That's why we go so much. Um, and when we went there, we saw family and stuff. We saw some friends, went to my guy's restaurant. Um, but this, just this experience, uh, and him being willing to include us in that experience, it just made this trip like super, super, super special, man. It, it really did. Um, now, uh, I do remember, because <laughs> he, he talked about how, like, when a lot of people who may either not be from Baltimore, may, maybe not even from Maryland, uh, so they may not know about Baltimore, but they hear stuff. They always hear how bad it is, and that, that is one of the first things you always hear about Baltimore. It's bad, it's bad, it's bad. And they got some bad parts, but not all of it is bad. It's like, it's not everything like that. But I remember, um, it was funny, uh... In the restaurant that we had went to, that he he, he highlighted the lady singing. And boy, she was sick. I, I told her, I said, man, you you got a great singing voice. I had to let her know after she did her karaoke. But it was funny when we were on the way uh, to that restaurant. Uh, we were walking down the street, and he was like, oh, I think it's up this alley. And I looked up that alley, and it was really dark. And there was a bunch of people in that alley. And I said, I said nah, it ain't up that alley. That that's not the one. Let's 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 keep going. And then it ended up being up the next alley. And it was like nobody is. So it, that, that that was just funny though, man. Um, but yeah, man, Tom, I I don't know if you're gonna watch this, but if you do, thank you, Johnny, man. I thank you to the both of y'all, man, because y'all y'all are special. Y'all just made my my month, my year. It it thank you. Thank you so much. The way that uh, they put everything together was just perfect, man. Like I said, I, I could not even eat my dinner, man. I'm just sitting there watching. Um, after after the uh, the stadium tour, which was great, uh, we headed over to the castle. And I had been to the castle plenty of times, like for training camp, but I had never been in the castle. I've been to the, the like the part where the players practice and stuff. Like everybody goes there, but I had never been inside the castle. The only time, the closest I had been was last year when me and my wife and, and my sister-in-law and brother-in-law and Carter, we was all standing in front of the castle. And the guy, I don't know his name, but I always see him on the Raven sideline with Harbaugh. He's a black guy. He's bald. He's, he's a man, but he kind of like muscular. I don't, I don't know his name, though, but he came out there and kicked us off. Not in no mean way or nothing, but he's like, hey, no, y'all can't stand right there. You got you to move over there. I said, okay, no problem, my friend. Sorry, sir. But, um... With, to be able to go inside the castle, um, Cassie came out there because Cassie Calvert, you know, she, she runs the Ravens social media. Um, so shout out to her. She came. She had been in contact with Tom and stuff. And um, she came through, said what's up and uh, took us upstairs and then uh, dropped us off at the lounge. Uh, and that was crazy. Like, that was cool seeing it in person, seeing the land, like the, where all these players and Ryan Mink and Garrett Downing, where they do their podcast from, to see that in person. I was like, oh, oh, okay now. All right. This is it. This is their studio. It was cool, man. So I know Garrett Downing, Ryan Mink said he was on vacation, but seeing Ryan Mink there was cool, man. So shout out to him. Uh, and I, I was like, man, Tom, Tom Grassi get to be on the lounge. Like, again, Ravens showed a lot of love to him. And it was great, man. I, I, I loved I loved that for him. They showed him a whole lot of love, man. Um, cause like, and like I said, he deserved it. He deserved it for not only for what he's doing now, but for what he's just done and, and how he is and who he is. He deserves all of that, man. Um, but yeah, it was cool seeing that. And then uh, just meeting everybody at Jimmy's, man. I, I remember thinking like it's it's a it's a Thursday. It's a random Thursday. In the summertime, uh, and he's a Packers guy, uh, and I, I'm a Ravens fan, but still, like, I'm thinking, I, mean, I was like, nah, some people going to show up, for sure, but I don't think it's going to be that many. 
<laughs> I, I underestimated it big time, man. Ravens fans showed up, man. They came through, man, and they packed out Jimmy's, and uh, it was just crazy, man. Like, when we pulled up in the Uber, it was so much people already just waiting outside, like, they're just waiting. And I'm like, man, like, I say Tom, Tom done brought them out, man. So shout out to Tom Grassi again, man. Um, and it was just a super, super, super great experience. Um, I, I got to see some people that I've met and known over the years. Uh, shout out to my guy Justin, my guy Kev. Uh, shout out to my guy Raj uh, from um, uh, from the Flex Zone. So you know my mind be slipping, man. Um, and I met a lot of people. My guy Cam, uh, we were chopping it up and just laughing and just having a really, really good time, man. Um, and people, people just showed a lot of love, asking for Carter and stuff. But Carter, he said he ain't want to make, he want to come on this trip with me this time. But I'm glad that he didn't, cause I ain't know nothing about that air quality stuff that was going on. Um, so that worked out. But uh, it was just such a great experience, man. It, it it was a great experience and it's amazing. So again, shout out to Tom. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to his channel. I know y'all most of y'all probably already do. Um and, and please watch watch his 30 for 30 on Baltimore, man. Watch it because it's just is it's so well put together, but it's real. It's real. Like er everything that he was saying, like in the video and stuff, we talked about that stuff. So it ain't like he was just putting on for the video or anything. Like, no, 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 no. We talked about all of that stuff. So it it, it was really, really, really good, man. And then uh, to hear, uh I remember when he at first told me that he was going to be on a Pat McAfee show. I'm like, man, that's that's big, man. That's big. So, But I figured like he was going to be like those guests. Like, you know how Ian Rappaport goes on there or Aaron Rodgers goes on there. They just on video. They just swear. They just at the crib. They on a video and they just sitting there talking. But he's actually, he announced that he's going to be in studio. And I was like, whoa. So you're going to be there, there. Not just, I mean, a video is big enough. That's huge to be on a Pat McAfee show. But to be there in person, that's a whole nother level, baby. That's a whole nother level. So I'm just I'm 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 super happy for him, man, and, and everything that he got going on, man. But yeah, he he he's a real special dude, man. Real special dude. And, and he's just great people, man. Great people. So shout out to him. Um Yeah, man. It, thank you for like including me. Thank you for like having me and inviting me. To this experience, cause some of these things are stuff that I, w I would have probably never got to experience. I didn't even know Ravens did stadium tours. <laughs> I didn't even know they did that. And to be inside the castle, like like I said, I don't think Ravens invite me to no castle, but you never know. But um, I to to, to be there and just to see him get that, it was great, man. It was really really cool, man. So shout out to him, man. But anyway. Thank you all. Thank you all, team. Keep it clean. Thank you all to anybody new who subscribed because cause Tom Grassi done sent a lot of new people over here too. Um, so appreciate y'all subscribing and checking out the channel. I hope you like it. I hope you stick around. Um, so yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you, Tom Grassi. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you to all the old subscribers. Thank you to everybody. I appreciate all of y'all. I love all of y'all so much, man. And we out, baby. <laughs>